is Let's Talk Entertainment, and you know how we do it. Well, today we're going to be talking about a press conference Kofas Media held yesterday. And of course, Ochami Kwame, he's been trending, of course, all about his um, flaunt your spouse and his relationship with his ex, Nanama McBrown. We'll bring you all of that right here on Let's Talk Entertainment. My name is Doreen Avio, and yes, you should stay and be with me for Let's Talk Entertainment. Today's edition is going to be fun. All right, if you just joined me, this is Let's Talk Entertainment. And yes, as I mentioned earlier, yesterday there was a press conference at Holiday Inn, and it was put together by Kofas Media. The last time we probably heard about Kofas Media had to do with the movie Amachi Ended, which was last year, but this year looks like there's a new production, and guess what? We have some Nigerian artists or actresses and actors who are going to be part of this production. We're talking about Nollywood award-winning actors, Pete Edochi and Iniedo. Well, it was just a press conference, so let's check out the highlights of it first. One million dollars by a mafia boss to uh, to another person, and in the middle of the journey to deliver the money, the account breaks down, <laughs> and the mafia boss is none other. Boss, is the wicked boss. So 
So that's just it for the press conference that was yesterday at the Holiday Inn Hotel here in Accra. But you know, Pete Edochi was also there and he asked that actors should take their jobs seriously to help grow the industry. Let's hear him out. Very few people in the movie industry accept that there are people who oh, inspire them. If you interview a lot of them, they're very acting from their mother's wounds. <laughs> <laughs> and then the press makes it worse. For any, everybody disguised with him. Sometimes if you get obsessed with the illusion that there is this grand you are waiting for you, you don't go beyond the roof. So if you put a lot of energy in what you're doing, plenty of concentration, a lot of hard work, you will progress. If you allow the encomia from the press to flatter you a little bit, you will not get too far. I am happy that most of the people in Gollywood here work extremely hard. I'm very happy about it. I know that there are very few people who come out to sponsor productions in Ghana. I want to believe that he's going to be an example what a small person. So if he sponsors a film and is at time, other people who belong to his theatre will also want to experiment. It is the best way you can sell a country. It's not through politicians, no. Through actors. And I tell you the truth. I am celebrated all over the continent and beyond. There is nobody that nobody in my country has celebrated as I am today. I'm not really saying it because I want to flatter myself, but no, 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 no. In all Palestine, go to any part of the continent today. If you're wearing a red cap, are you wearing the tongue of right? It's like that. If you go outside, overseas, all right. Let me just conclude by saying I was wounded somewhere in America. If you lean on me and take a photograph, you pay $8. I don't go beyond that. <laughs> <laughs>so that was the piece of advice from Nollywood actor Pete Edochi. Now moving on, rapper Ochame Kwame has been trending one way or the other. Now let me put it this way. The first one is with his upcoming event, Flaunt Your Spouse. And the other is with his ex, Nanama McBrown. That's the actress. Well, Ochame Kwame has been saying that, listen, the fact that he's probably dated her before doesn't mean that he has feelings or anything towards her. And that's because um, they were together on a show and they kind of were comfortable together. He's been talking more and about his brothers as well. Well, recently when you went on the Abin show, pictures were circulating everywhere. Now, first of all, I was just wondering, how does it feel to be on, with, at that close range with somebody you were once in love with? Did it bring feelings or...? Not at all. It's been 12 years or 13 years. Mm -hmm. It's such a long time. I've forgotten how I used to feel about it. Not at all, not at all. And you, another thing that is strange is that it was my wife that booked the appointment. Uh, the appointment and got me to go there to go and cook with her. So, you know, so we're together for like barely eight months and it didn't last long, you know, so. Um, and then after that, that's like 13 years ago. It's, it's such a long time. I've actually forgotten how it felt like. I mean, few things, few of the jokes that we shared you know, when we met we spoke about them uh, hey do you remember hey do you remember that that was about it the rapping drums where he takes each traditional instrument the shakers the dono the gongo this one and then he he mimics the sound that it makes and put words in it and it is not only um good for exports, that thing that he has done. It is also coming to buttress the fact that rap music started in Africa. But it is, um, it is sad that in, in our part of the world, we throw out what is indigenously ours and constantly import, select what is from 
but it's from the West, you know. So apart from that song that he's done, I think he's one of the most intelligent young men in the music industry. And he has not thrown his culture out. He's still very royal. When you look at him, you can see an Akan boy who feels royal, who thinks that he comes from Obudwo. You know, come from the way he puts his Akofina around. Everything that he does, though very urban, is also very traditional. And I think that not because he's my brother, he could be an export for this country. All right, so that's it for rapper Ochiame Kwame. But the back and forth between Councillor John Lutrod and actress Victoria Lebene Makba is still on. Now, if you remember, there was a video trending some time back because Councillor John Lutrod claims that the actress is not the right person for the actor Kofi Ajololo and well she was not happy about it now she says that she and her management will host a press conference to actually decide what to do concerning the issue the issue of uh -huh. the relationship between Ajololo and the actor and the may say management will come out soon with a press conference exactly. on this issue. In the end, so just let's uh, uh, wait for that press conference. Yeah. All right, so that's just it for Let's Talk Entertainment, today's edition. I'm Doreen Avio, and if you want to get more stories on Let's Talk Entertainment, you should always log on to myjoyonline.com, the entertainment page. But of course, to interact with me on Twitter, it is Doreen Avio, and on Instagram, it's Doreen underscore Avio. Big up to Ike and Becky for production. Do enjoy your day. Mm -hmm.